everybody welcome back to my channel it's me zoe and today i have my huge product empties i have on my big bath my drinks bags full well not completely full but there's a lot of products in here and a lot of things to talk about a lot of things that actually there's actually quite a few things in here i didn't like so yes a few things in my favorites as well so let's go ahead and get started so if you didn't see my hygiene project used up you wouldn't know but i did use up my raw sugar sleep well and restore melatonin magnesium lavender and hemp seed oil lotion i did like the formula of this it reminded me of the um there's that brand that starts with the c they have like this water activated lotion in the shower lotion thing Curel, the Curel um water hydrotherapy lotion that's the same like consistency i thought it had but i didn't like the scent and it just it was okay and i'm very thankful because i did get this for my giveaway i'm just not a lavender girl <laughs> like i've never liked lavender i probably never will um but it did actually help to like calm the senses so that's a good thing um i think we're having issues there. the next thing i used is, is the caress daily silk um white peach and orange blossom body wash i've talked about this a few times in past videos already but I really don't like the scent in the shower. It smells like a musty, rosy, kind of your grandma's bathroom soap kind of smell. Um, I know that's like not a great thing to say, but well, that's what it smells like. It does make your skin, ve skin very, very, very silky smooth. So. Okay. The next thing my family used up is the watermelon lemonade foaming hand soap. The notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, and my lemon. This is my mom's favorite scent as far as like, um, home care she likes this in the candle and the soap although the body can be both agree is disgusting i also like this in the soap um yes we were to purchase not for full price we don't ever purchase soaps for full price it's just really not worth it but it was it was a very nice scent and did have a very pretty pink color so. okay the next thing we use up is another one of my mom's favorite scents and that is the champagne toast um hand soap the notes are bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine and we absolutely love the foamy hand soap formula a lot more it just lasts longer and it doesn't feel like sticky i guess um but yeah we put this in uh our smaller bathroom and it really does smell great it really does linger and makes the bathroom smell like it too so if you want something that's gonna make your bathroom smell nice when you use it that is that hand soap okay the next thing is i'm something i'm currently using but is a bar soap so you know i put the bar soaps packaging in there before i used up but yeah this is the Yardley Creamy Coconut Bar Soap, and I know most people are like, Yardley sucks, Yardley soaps are so drying, and I would agree with the drying part on most of them, but the only one I've tried that so far does not dry my skin out at all is this Creamy Coconut one, and it has shea butter, aloe, and vitamin E, so this is the only one I've tried so far that does not dry my skin out, and it smells really nice. Okay, next we have a leave-in conditioner, and this is the... Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Leave-In Conditioner. I got this from Walmart. It was like less than $3, I think. And it smells amazing. It has no sulfites, no mineral oil, no parabens, and no gluten. So it, it's like really good for your hair. But um, this actually really helped my hair um, form curls, curls and um, like moisturize it. So I really did like the way my hair looked whenever I used this and it did help with frizz taming as well. And I tried to get that one and I thought they just had it in a bottle, but it is definitely different because they that one's like an oil moisturizer and that was the leave conditioner. It doesn't work the same, but I do definitely like that one. And once I run out of that other um hair moisturizer, I will definitely pick that one up again because I absolutely loved it. That was like the first um product I took a risk on because I've just really started my lady slash curly, like again, curly hair journey. Because I have a few ringlets here and there, but the rest is lady. It's complicated. <laughs> like three different curl patterns. Anyways, um, and yeah, so I just really like that. And it was definitely a hit for a product that I definitely repurchased and I will be going to. The next is a wax melt. And this is the Vanilla Pine Into the Forest um, wax melt. And to me and my brother, this smelled like sage and rosemary. It did not smell like vanilla or pine. It definitely smelled like a sagey rosemary scent. And it certainly was not a favorite in this house. Okay, let's see. Next, um, this is not part of my product used up, but it's the Bath Mother's product, which is rare. This is the Dahlia Creamy Petal Body Scrub. The notes are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Honka Bean. And I squeezed this out until my fingers were like 
marked because I squeezed it so hard. I had a tiny, tiny bit of product left in there. But overall, I did be, I was able to squeeze most of that out in the packaging on those. It's really inefficient. I wish they would put them in tubs or at least like um, squeezy bottles that didn't have such a huge bottom so that it was easier to get the product out where it's not like just a giant, big, hard plastic part. Um, yeah. I wish there were in jars because that's just like <laughs> everybody prefers that and it's the best way to have scrub you can just dig it out and put it on your skin but i did really like that i really do like the scent and i have some more of that so clearly i like that okay the next thing i have is the coconut mint drop foaming hand soap um the notes are not on this but this is one of my favorite scents for hand soaps this is like the second or third one we've gone through and we all absolutely this is the third one we've done two foams and a gel so i absolutely do love that Next thing I went to through is a um, wallflower, and it does have a tiny bit left, but I didn't notice that when I took it out, but it's okay. This is Summer Boardwalk, and this is one of the strongest wallflowers I think I have ever experienced. The notes on this one are Karma Glaze Popcorn, Warm Taffy Apple, Salty Sweet Cream. So I will totally repurchase that one again. It, def it smelled like a summer gourmand. Like, you could definitely use it in the fall, too, but it was very, like, a summery, sweet cloying in a good way gourmand explosion of goodness and i absolutely enjoyed it okay the next thing i used up is a cleanser which i no longer use this is the avino positively radiant brightening cleanser and i used to use this but i think it actually was the cause of some of my breakouts because i like this it has moisture soy extract but i know i'm allergic to soy like so i'm guessing that was probably causing some of my breakouts and stuff but I did like it it did brighten my skin but I think the soy was the issue um yeah the next thing I used up is a little travel bottle I filled with that um, hair cream okay let's see next I also am using the Dove Sensitive Skin Bar this is a 2.6 from Dollar Tree I now have the big bars but I really do love this it is um perfect for cleaning just everything okay Next thing I used up is a candle. I used up the blackberries and basil single wick. This smells amazing. It is just like a fruity spring scent, but also a fruity fall scent. Like it's perfect for spring and fall. I don't think it's good for summer or winter, but perfect for spring and fall. So, okay. Next thing I used up is the e.l.f. Energizing Citrus Oil Facial Mist. I really did love this. It does work great to um, help like emulsify your makeup together. So, I have so much like hair flying around because of this bag. It's like in my face. Okay, next I used up a deodorant. This is the degree dry protection. I am now switched to the degree um motion active deodorant. I have not yet made the switch to luminin free, but we I always forget to get an aluminum free deodorant. But I will use the deodorants I have and then I'm gonna try an aluminum free and hope it goes well. Um because I wanted that before summer gets here but maybe it won't to me i'll do that in the fall not sure anyways next thing we used up is the aromatherapy stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint this was in the kitchen so i didn't really use that much but eucalyptus oil clears the mind and spearmint oil soothes and uplifts so i'm not sure if we really love this scent it is kind of relaxing my mom loves that one the most but i'm not sure the rest of us really like it but we didn't really use it that much since we have the sink um we mostly wash our hands in the bathroom. Okay, next thing. It's a wallflower. This is the Champagne Toast Increased Intensity. I seriously have hair all over my face. It's making me itch. Um, the notes on this one are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. This is outside our cat litter room, which is where we have the most wallflowers. Just because if you have pets, you know, cat litter does tend to smell a bit. So this actually really did cancel out that smell, especially from outside the, the room. So very good choice on our part. Next thing is like the first lotion my mom has ever used up, which is crazy. This <laughs> is the snowy peach berry. On um, the notes are snow kissed cranberries, frosted peach blossom, and simmering wood. I can't speak. Shimmering woods. This smells amazing. I think I got this for her for Christmas two years ago. So really enjoy this. Um, she really liked it, clearly, because it's gone. <laughs> Okay, next thing I used up, I finally used up my Snowflakes and Cashmere Hand Cream, and I did use it up. I squeezed it out till it's all gone, but it is, like, moving the product up a little bit. There, no, sorry, the air bubble. There's an air bubble. Okay, next thing I used up, I finally used up my, um, Apple Crumble Wallflower Mom gave me. This thing smelled amazing. It was really strong, actually, and I really did enjoy it. Okay. Uh, I used up another candle. This was the Hunting the Home red currant cream candle i really liked the packaging it was very pretty 
Um, as you can see, like some setting and some wax issues happened, but it did burn all the way down to the bottom with not that much wax on the side. So it did smell very good. It was definitely like a fruity creme kind of scent. So happy about that one. And my face is literally going to break out in hives because I'm allergic to cat hair. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Um, next we have the Cozy Cashmere Candle. This was okay. Um, as you can see, it burned not the best. Gosh, okay, I'm sorry. But it was very nice. It did smell good, but it wasn't super strong in my opinion. The next thing I used up is the Luminescence Coconut Eggnog Wax Melts. These are from the Dollar Tree. Not worth picking them again. Not worth talking about. Okay, next I use up the Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm sorry, I really can't hear my hair, my face. The Vanilla Bean Noel Wallflower. The notes on this one are Vanilla Bean Marshmallow Fluff and Vanilla Cake. Um, I used this, I used it halfway, couldn't smell it. I took it out, put the rest of the half in, still couldn't smell it. Do not suggest that unless it's going to be increased intensity. Okay, I also used up the Twisted Permanent Pocket Bag. These are really strong. I do not suggest if your family doesn't like fragrance. Next thing I used up is a pen, and these are the Pilot G2 um, 5.5 milliliter pens, millimeter. These are the best pens ever. Love them. So, yeah, that's everything that was in this huge bag, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.